Hi, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. We're out on the Brabazon course again today, and we're looking at what we can do if we know that we get the club face very shut at the top. So initially, let's just look at what we mean by a shut club face. Now, for the purpose of this video and this drill, we are assuming that the grip is fairly orthodox. Okay, This grip doesn't work if it's out of position because we've got a strong hold. Okay, So if we assume that our hold on the golf club is fairly neutral, by a strong position or a closed position at the top, we're looking at where the club face is when we reach the top of the golf swing. Now, a strong or a shut position would indicate that the club face is facing much more towards the, the sky, okay? So we do often get golfers who will start off there with, say, an orthodox hold, but when they get to the top, the club face gets very, very shut. And what that does, it either means the ball flight's gonna be probably to the left, or if we can manage the handle position and get it enough forward, we'll be able to hit it straight, but it's gonna be very low. So either of those is probably not desirable, and if we can get that club face more neutral at the top, we're gonna find probably more neutral shot shapes and probably a better ball flight. So what can we do? Well, when we get that face shut, the thumb, the lead thumb, gets very much on the side of the handle. Okay, when it gets on the side of the handle, as we said, the club face faces much more up towards the sky. So you'll probably notice that I've got a putter on the floor here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the putter, and very simply, we're gonna try and take our normal hold on the golf club. Now it will feel a bit strange because as you probably know, the putter grip is slightly different shape. It's got a, a flat front and it isn't quite circular. But if I can take an address position, my top thumb is perfectly on the flat part of the handle. And by swinging a putter, it gives me a great feeling of getting the left thumb or the lead thumb a little bit more under the handle. And what we can probably see from there is that the, the putter face is pretty much the same as my lead forearm. So really, really good for those golfers who get that thumb on the side of the handle get the club face paint pointing sorry, more to the sky. Making some golf swings with a putter will help you get the feeling of that left thumb working under the golf club. The added benefit to that is if you do get the lead thumb under the golf club, you're probably gonna get a much more structured position. You're probably gonna find a bit more support of the golf club. Thumb going to the side, I suddenly don't feel as if I've got as much control of that golf club, and I may well get a slightly longer swing, may well lose a bit of control that way. So, if you do find you're the kind of golfer with a neutral hold, you get the club face into a very shut position at the top, then what we can do is we can take a putter and just make some golf swings, trying to feel that the left thumb or the lead thumb works a little bit more under the handle, okay? I do know golfers have actually taken putter grips and put them onto a six iron or a seven iron and actually hit golf balls that way. Really, really good drill. If you do struggle with a shut club face, this is really, really gonna help you. On the golf course, if you're playing, if the group in front is slow, just grab your putter, have a couple of swings and get that sensation of that lead thumb working more under the handle. That's gonna get the club face in a more neutral position. That's gonna give you some better shots on the golf course. So give it a go, see if it improves and hopefully you'll hit some better shots and ultimately lower those scores.